Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to manually add workouts to your Apple Watch. So what you're going to want to do to do this is make sure that you are logged in or on the iOS device that is linked to your Apple Watch and then go to the health app. So you can just swipe down and you can just search for health to open up the health app. And then once you've opened up the health app, you're going to see a couple of things here. What you want to do is you want to tap on the browse tab there at the very bottom of your screen should be bottom right somewhere and go ahead and go to browse and then just search for workout. So go ahead and tap into the search bar there and then go ahead and type in the word workout. So we'll go ahead and type in that now. So we'll go ahead and go into workouts. Now in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see something that says add data. So if we tap on that button there that says add data, it's blue text. You'll see where you can now go into and change the activity type. If we tap on activity type, you can say, okay, well, today I did a 20 minute bike ride. So you go and you find cycling right here, go to cycling, and then you just enter in how many calories you burned, the distance that you rode. And these categories here will change depending on kind of what you say that you've done. So if you've done something like curling, it will only be calories burned or calories, whatever it may be. And then at the bottom there, you put in kind of when you've done this activity, that way your watch knows when to add it to your rings and to your data as it goes back and saves the data. So if we go here, we'll say it started today, June 16th at 1213 PM, and it's a 20 minute ride. So we tap on the end date there and just go to where we see 33 in the minute column to go ahead and add a 30 or 20 minute bike ride, and then tap on the blue add button in the upper right hand corner, tap on that, and that will then add that workout manually. Now, the only reason you'd really need to do this is if you forget to add it or forget to start the workout on your watch, or maybe you didn't wear your watch that day or it died or whatever it may be, and you still want to keep track of this data to go back on later, or maybe you don't want to miss a streak for your rings or whatever it may be. This is why you would want to manually add a workout to your Apple Watch. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.